Spain against Israel. It's John Champion with you today and alongside me, top analyst Jim Beglin. Hi John, at this stage I think the players are just desperate to get out there and this promises to be a terrific game. The spectators rise for the national anthem. Spain start with this 11. In goal, it's Casillas. Diego Costa providing the goal scoring threat. Underway. Jordi Alba. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. No, the defence alert and picked out the danger. Xavi. Spain seeing a lot of the ball in these early stages. Question is, can they do anything significant with it? Diego Costa. Some dangerous moments, but he was there to intervene. The ball's with Silva. Silva. Somehow, they emerge unscathed. No change in that score, nil-nil it remains. Goal in sight! It's shabby. Pass cut out. Xavi Alonso. Xavi. And that's not getting through. The goal now would certainly liven things up. And he's made sure that's not getting through. Shot away here. Spain have scored. That really tested the strength of the net. Oh, the contact was fantastic. Right on the bootlaces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike.
so we start again at 1-0. Look, we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. Spain scoring on the stroke of half-time to give them a 1-0 lead. He was well positioned, good defending there. The idea was there, execution wasn't. Played through the middle. Silva did well running onto the ball through, but didn't get enough of it to register a shot. Natko. The half-time whistle goes. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Israel set the ball rolling. No, that's not going to make it through. That's going to go a long way. The opposition posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. Play surges forward, and he'll drive it here. Spain with a big chance and a big miss. Here's Ben Ayoun. Here's Silva. He goes alone. Didn't have any luck with the through ball there. Yeah, it looked like there that he was asking just a little too much of himself to try and thread that ball through. It was, uh, it was a bit over-ambitious, but I like his thinking. Silva. Diego Costa. Bursting forward. Possibility here. And he makes absolutely no mistake. Two goals to the good, and they're set fair. It just couldn't have been placed any better. It's 2 0. Well, at 1 0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2 0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. An important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Tried to play it through. Off he goes. Nicely fed in. Right idea, wrong execution. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. That's clearly not what he was hoping for. Here's Iniesta. No, needed a better ball there. Tries to slide it past the defence. Xavi. It's Diego Costa. Trouble looming, but he's able to cut it out. Down the middle it goes. The keeper knew he had to get to that. Natko. Full time whistle within sight. Just the keeper to beat. Casillas makes the save. Can he shoot?
Iniesta. Silva. Xavi. Diego Costa. Iniesta. And he's been fouled. No surprise, it's a yellow card. And that's the first yellow card the referee has shown. He's got two options here. He either goes for goal or he opts for the little dink into the penalty box. Keeper gets a hand on it. Diego Costa. Iniesta. It's Jordi Alba. Lovely ball through. The referee blows his whistle. They've done it. A wonderful victory here for the fans and for the boss. All of them ecstatic with the way that the team have played today. I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that. There was so much passion and commitment out there. I can't remember anyone shirking a tackle. And that's the end of tonight's broadcast from me, John Champion, and my co-commentator Jim Beglin. A very good evening to you.